Hi, um, this is just a quick introduction to the new uh, DXF exporter for Inventor. Um, the DXF exporter was created to help streamline and accelerate the sheet metal flat pattern creation process that uh, most designers have to go through at the end of the design or when the design has been signed off uh, or released for, for manufacturing. Um, so basically as your design goes into that uh, processing phase, uh, this is normally where all the uh, flat patterns needs to be uh, created and, and generated. Okay, so we have seen so many times uh, how time consuming and tedious the flat pattern creation process can be. Um, exporting your project's sheet metal flat patterns is normally done by following a, a very manual procedure. Opening each sheet metal part and saving the flat pattern as a, as a DXF. The problem is that uh, by following this procedure, uh, properties like thickness, quantity or material do not get saved with a file. So you end up having to manually record and enter this for each file or flat pattern that you export. This, as you are all aware of, uh, is a very tedious and, and error prone task to perform. Another problem is uh, we've seen so many times is the issue of uh, the scaling that's, that's incorrect for the exported profile. As a designer, you are forced to check each exported uh, profile to make sure that the scale is correct. Uh, you do not want to realize that you have had a, a scaling issue when you receive the uh, physical parts back from the supplier. All right, so this is basically where um, the DXF exporter comes in. It will, with a click of a button, find all the sheet metal parts in your design and in one place give you the opportunity to set the export options. Um, you can then export all the design sheet metal flat patterns in one go with the import properties like um, or important properties like thickness, material, and quantity as part of the uh, exported profile. All right, so no more cross-checking, cross-referencing um, to make sure that your quantities and thickness and material for each exported profile is, is, is correct and, and it ties up. Okay, this obviously saves loads of time, uh, but also limits the uh, mistakes that can be made, ultimately the, and hopefully saving you um, money. All right, um, let me quickly give you just a demonstration of how this, how the, how this works. All right, I've got a very simple um, uh, uh, design here with some sheet metal components, obviously, as part of the design. All right, so uh, there's the DXF uh, export. Let me just clear the table here quickly. All right, so basically when you start, this is what you will see. Um, and uh, as you can see there, we can, uh, obviously, by clicking this button, it'll find all the sheet metal parts inside the open assembly that is uh, currently open obviously in Inventor. Um, you can also if you want to manually add sheet metal components um, or parts uh, one by one if you if you want to uh, do that or need to do that. Um, at this point you can then um, uh, fine tune one or two things. You can uh, add parts manually, delete parts, clear the table or you can change the quantity of, uh, of the uh, entries in this table if you need to. All right, uh, further down you can set your export options, uh, things like simplify splines to line segments. Um, this basically just converts all the uh, spline segments of a, of a profile into short line segments, um, which uh, for some CNC software and machines is, is better to, to work with. All right, you can also merge your, pro your profiles, exported profiles into a poly a polyline. Um, you can include or exclude bend lines. Uh, you can use your part number property as your DXF file name. Um, this is quite, uh, quite a nice one sometimes as well. Um, and there's a reduced double lines in DXF files uh, that can be used if you, if you do realize that there's some duplicate, duplicate lines in your exported profiles. Um, and then the put text in positive quadrant, that is basically the thickness and quantity and material properties that's written to that exported profile as well. Um, you can decide where you want that at, at the bottom of the x-axis or the top of the, of the x-axis basically. Alright, so once you've uh, made these uh, settings and you're ready to export, all you need to do is click the export DXF files button at the bottom. Um, 
you can then export it to any folder you like once exported inventor will uh, or the, the tool will open up open the folder for you and as you can see there's all your um, uh, flat patterns in one folder let's drag one of them into uh, into AutoCAD all right there you can see there's the flat pattern um, and all your properties um, is uh, part of that flat pattern so when this gets to the supplier your laser laser cut supplier um, he would be able to uh, 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 get all the info from one file um, and uh, there can't be any mistakes made uh, from that all right so hopefully uh, you guys have got a good, good understanding of, uh, of how this works um, you're welcome to uh, download a trial copy of uh, of the tool to give it a go and uh, and uh, also welcome to give us some feedback thank you